round two is on the way. Quite literally, Shane, the calm before the storm here. It is, and that storm is inching closer and closer to eastern Kentucky, and it's going to have a big impact on our weather in the next two days. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Pinpoint Doppler radar. It is nice and dry across eastern Kentucky, and we are going to keep that trend going for uh, the next few hours. It's not until after midnight when the next round of wintry precipitation arrives. Temperatures, they are on the chilly side already. And finally down to freezing in Middlesboro. Been waiting for that all afternoon. We're going to have to keep a close eye on Middlesboro and the surrounding areas because that is where the most questions still lie with this forecast on the winter storm. Temperature is going to play a critical part in what happens in the Cumberland Valley. Everywhere else, heavy snow looking like a safe bed. It should start just after midnight. We'll actually start as a mix of snow and freezing rain. Likely transition to freezing rain for most of us, and then in the afternoon go over to heavy snow. We'll take a closer look at those timings here in a second. Winter storm warning out for the entire coverage area through Saturday evening. Through tonight, increasing clouds, still some slick spots on those back roads, a mix of freezing rain with snow early in the day tomorrow, and during the afternoon we change over to very heavy wet snow. This snow is going to be a wet snow. We are talking uh, that slushy kind of snow that can really coat those power lines. I'm expecting scattered to widespread power outages by Saturday afternoon. And the roads, they are going to be awful on Friday and Saturday. Travel not advised in the slightest. There's that storm currently working into Tennessee. Rain right now because it's warmer down there. But... It will continue to move up to the north and the east where we are below freezing now and it will at least start as some freezing rain or snow. Let's go hour by hour with future view. 2 a.m. The snow is approaching the, the Howe Rogers Parkway, then turns to freezing rain. We're dealing with rain and freezing rain in the Cumberland Valley at this point. And then we go over to heavy snow in the afternoon. Notice the dark blues. That's the heaviest, darkest blues I have seen on future view since we've upgraded the weather system. That means some heavy, heavy snow is heading our way. One to two inch per hour snowfall rates tomorrow, and the snow lingers into Saturday. For the Big Sandy, northern part of the Kentucky River Valley and the Virginia Mountains, 12 to 18 inches of snow, maybe a little bit more in some spots. Go back just north of the Howe Rogers Parkway, we're going 8 to 14 inches, 5 to 10 inches right along the Howe Rogers Parkway. And then down in the Cumberland Valley, where we're likely going to see more freezing rain, up to a quarter inch of ice from that, three to six inches of snow. That's where we could see a few hearts broken as far as snowfall totals go. I know some people wanting some big snow down there. Not looking likely at this point. The snow moves in early tomorrow morning, changes that freezing rain and mix, and then we will turn that back over to all snow by tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures take a big tumble after this storm, though. We're talking single-digit lows for Sunday and Monday, guys. Shane, I guess the best thing to do is to just stay home during this storm uh, if you don't have to go out. Stay in, keep it locked on WYMT, and uh, let's just ride this thing out. All right, Shane, thanks a lot. Well, straight ahead in sports, the Kentucky Wildcats back in action tonight. As they try to get back on track with a strong conference win on the road down in Fayetteville.